Hey guys, what is going on? This is Zip of Rage Quit TV casting the Rage Quit TV Open. You see we are on NASL Metalopolis. It is a Zerg vs Zerg. If you don't speak Korean or don't read it actually, this says Zerg, that says Zerg. It is a ZVZ. I know some people hate ZVZ, but with Destiny, any matchup is fun just because you have those mass infestors, which are absolutely hilarious come the late game. Destiny, there's the blue Zerg. Galaxy, the pink Zerg. And it's a best of five series. The winner does get $50. And Destiny's like biggest problem right now is early game in every single match, I would say. Galaxy does have a secret ZVZ build. I put emphasis on secret because I'm not sure if it actually is a secret or not. It was just something he said in an interview for some of the kicks. And uh, yeah. Galaxy, a former Brood War Zerg. He was a minus. He used to be on Team MVP. As you see, Galaxy MVP, but he switched over to the Gosu Gamers team very recently. And uh, he is going to be making his way to Code A soon, hopefully. I don't believe he's in Code A yet. But that guy we saw about two days ago, Skit, the uh, Terran that Destiny just got 3 0 by, was also Code B. He wasn't Code A. He didn't make it in Code A. Many people believe it is harder to get in Code A through co Korean qualifiers than it is to actually win an MLG. And that says a, but, a bunch, I think. And either player right now going for a uh, pool. So it looks like hatchery first from both players. Or maybe a 14 pool. I don't see any gas. What is going to be going on? Destiny is the one that does a drone scout. Galaxy does not. He sends his overlord straight over as I did tell both players. It is 100% cross position. You can't spawn close. Destiny. I don't know if he fully understood that and sent his overlord that way. And Destiny right now trying to block the hatchery being like a Protoss, but uh, well, he can't and this drone gets the killing blow over on Destiny. No uh, pool or gas. There comes the gas actually from Galaxy and Destiny has his hatch up and a gas and now he's throwing down a pool and we have Galaxy waiting just a little bit to throw down a pool and looking at this drone count. We see something different already. Destiny at 12 supply, Galaxy at 15 supply. It doesn't look like Galaxy's too far behind. Keep in mind that's a three drone difference with one drone dying from Destiny. So somewhere here, Galaxy snuck in an extra drone. Or an extra two drones, actually. We'll look at the build order after this game, the beginning, to see exactly when players decided to throw down what they threw down. And, uh, yeah, still just going. I'm curious if they will open speedlings or just go straight for roaches. Since it is complete cross positions, they probably should open speedlings. If they don't open speedlings, then the other player will be free to take a third base just because it takes so long for roaches to make their way across to attack and get pretty much two production cycles in. Or even a spine crawler build or two spine crawlers to build. So you can easily defend almost anything that, as long as you see it coming. Scouting is the biggest thing in Galaxy. Only one drone left on gas while Destiny has all three still on gas. This could be big indication at a lot of links coming in very soon. Now you see him putting the drones back on gas. So we'll see. I think that was just so we could sneak more drones in. In ZVZ... I want to say all it is is a giant game of drone chicken because 99% of the time it is. Against Destiny, Destiny somehow pulls off miracles being at 150 supply when his opponent's at 200 and coming out on top just because of that infester micro he has. He is going for that Baneling Nest. What do we see? A Baneling Nest also from MVP. And Destiny could lose an Overlord and no he does not. The Queen is going back so she can vomit lava. Maybe she she can't vomit just yet, but realize that Overlord was a lost cause. Destiny not losing that, thankfully. And two lings from Galaxy do get into Destiny's base. There is a spine call. Just getting scouting information. Sees four, uh, five drones on this hatchery. He has a bit more. So he may have an idea he has more drones than Destiny. He may not. Let's look at Destiny's saturation at his main. It's not fully saturated. And going over to Galaxy's... It looks like it is not fully saturated either. Very, very close for both players. And Destiny has two speedlings. They are going to be running up. They scouted that natural. Now they're going to be scouting the main. Sees the bailing nest, but more importantly, I'm not sure if it's more importantly, but 
He sees all of the drones. He knows exactly what is going on for MVP. Also sees two Banleys morphing at MVP's natural, which could indicate that he is going to play a little bit defensively. Two Banelings trying to sneak in. One lane goes down and all the drones run away near that spine caller. Banelings do nothing. Destiny losing three drones. Destiny comes out on top in that engagement, but way too early to call anything. 44 supply, 248. We... Galaxy is in the favor there. He is sending out two more links. I think he may just be going to be doing this over and over and over again. Destiny is taking this watch tower and this one being very good about that. So we can see when Galaxy decides to move out. We see Galaxy starting to split up his overlords. You see all these moving Destiny. This one overlord is moving, going into the vision tab. Here's what Destiny sees. These links are just running around, not doing anything. Just getting scouting information to see what the drone count is. He wants to ensure that... uh. Galaxy's not hiding a bunch of roaches. And here is the vision from Galaxy. And again, give you an idea, there's Destiny. Destiny right now has the better vision. Thanks to both of these watchtowers, he's going to see these three links coming in. And Galaxy trying desperately to get what information he can. The Queen going into uh, position to the links. Cannot run up this ramp. And my second monitor just flickered, but it is back. Hopefully, the stream didn't get affected by that at all. Another spine call is going up, and uh, if the stream got affected by that monitor glitch on my second one, let me know. If it didn't, that is awesome. Four links coming out for Destiny just to get scouting. You can see both these players are trying desperately to scout each other, and it looks like Destiny will be going into the mid game, and this is where he excels. Let's look at the layer timings. No layer out for Galaxy, but Destiny. His lair is just about done. How is this possible? He is down six drones right now. He did cut some there. Nine roaches to two roaches. Two banelings to no banelings. But Destiny does have 13 or now nine links. He's getting three banelings of his own. And I believe he did scout. No, he's just morphing these banelings up here. Going to try to sneak them into the mineral line. I don't believe this is going to happen. But you got to do what you can. And here we go. That is a lot of roaches for Galaxy moving out across the map. That is exactly 18. Destiny doesn't have too much to defend against it, but he does see it coming thanks to this one Overlord and now this Watchtower. He has 22 Lings in production. He's going to hold this off with Queen, Spine Callers, and Lings. He has a few roaches, but that is nothing compared to what Galaxy has. No, Galaxy's the one building this 22 Lings. What am I saying? Destiny building 12 roaches. I got that mixed up just a bit, and that makes sense because these lings are so much faster. They can kind of meet up and get a huge attack in, and at the same time, you have Galaxy taking his third base and getting a layout out and a Mako hatch. 22 lings in production for Galaxy. Destiny getting a few lings of his own, and... The Roach count now, 22 for the Destiny, 18 for Galaxy. Destiny looking like he may hold this, but these Banelings, that's a lot of Banelings. I don't know if he will be able to hold all these. That will do a more damage than I think. Destiny actually bowing a lot of Roaches, and this is going to be what could save him, but there's Banelings getting into the mineral line. And so many drones have gone down. The Roach is bowed, but that may not be enough. Nine roaches now to 16. MVP looking like he's going to take this. Destiny trying his best to do bow, Maiko. This hatchery goes down. Destiny goes, ugh, and pauses the game. I think he means to leave the game, and I think he actually did leave the game. Is that game leave? Question mark. And I'm going to be assuming that is if nothing happens in a second on the Korean server for whatever reason. It doesn't, um, go. It doesn't go to the surrender screen, at least on the NASL. Uh, it resumed, and Galaxy left the game. So, yeah, I'm going to give that win to Galaxy. There's no way Destiny was coming back, and I think that's just the glitch on the NASL maps. And, ooh, these are the ghost-free versions, so I can't see the build order. My apologies there. I'll be working to do that, and Destiny going to be telling me what map do Shakur's. So, I will be making Shakur's Plateau momentarily, and uh, let's play a song for you while we wait.